I'll go on this side. Well, yes. Um, I know of and a lot of people experience quietly, like quite spiritually profound, like things throughout their life. Yeah. Unreligious, just purely spiritual. Like, do you think that can be sort of proven with science, or do you feel that there are still certain things and certain realms and dimensions that people can experience that will never be proven with science? Well, science doesn't prove anything. Let me make that clear. That's the biggest mis misconception about science. Science can only prove things to be wrong, not right. Okay? If it's, you know, the earth isn't flat. How we know we go around it. Okay? So it's wrong. But just because an idea satisfies the test of experiment doesn't mean it's going to satisfy the test of all experiments. So science doesn't prove things to be right. If you're asking me, are there many things in the universe we don't understand? Absolutely. That's why I'm a scientist. Because there's lots of things left to understand. There's a lot more we don't know about the universe than we do. But... What people confuse when I say that is they confuse that with the assumption that because there's a lot more we don't understand than we do, that we don't understand anything. Yeah. But there's a lot we understand. And the spiritual things, if you want to call them that, that many of the exotic phenomena people experience, <laughs> in general, violate the things we know to be correct on the basis of experiment. So they're highly likely to be wrong. And so I can't say to someone who's... who's um, heard God in their ears that they're, that they're not hearing God, but I can say it's much more likely that you're hallucinating based on what we know. In fact, uh, again, to quote Feynman when he's talking about aliens, he said, I think aliens are much more likely to be due to the known irrationality of humans than the unknown rationality of aliens. Because it's much more likely. If you look at the likelihood that a spacecraft could come to the Earth, almost anything you could think about is more likely. And what science deals with is not... <coughs> true and false, it's likely and less likely. And some things are just so unlikely that they're not, that you know, you chalk them off. And so I can't tell someone that what they've heard or what they've seen or some mystical experience, but I can say it can be a coincidence, a weird coincidence. But none of us like to believe that w the things that happen to us are coincidences. We all are hardwired to believe that things that happen to us are significant. And um, like you believe, you have the illusion that, that, that what's happening to you tonight is significant. <laughs> and it isn't. And for that reason, I'm going to take only one more question because I don't want to waste any more.